No, and I'm not a fucking find my friends app. While she's walking out, do you want to just some off screen get out or yeah, yeah, yeah. As he's closing the door, get out while my dick's still wet. <laughs> dick goes soft. Let me just write down dick goes soft. No, and I'm not a fucking find my friends app. Get out, my dick's going soft. No, I'm not a fucking find my friends app. Get out, my dick's going soft. This is killing my boner. Get out. Is there a funnier word than boner? <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. I was joking, still hard. Yeah, yeah, okay, copy. I was joking, I'm still hard. I was joking, Sloan. I'm still hard. Of course I'm still hard. All right, where were we? Is that line again? Coming, Mr. Sloan. Yeah, okay. I know, I know. I'm coming, my goddess. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, where's that ball gag, baby? Ready to whip you a little bitch. Referencing myself. Your little slut's ready to get whipped. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oof. I'm going to make a drink. In a whole different apartment. I've moved. Don't be scared. Everything's going to stay the same. You'll go to your dad's on the weekends. Let's make a drink. Let's take this Jamaican rum and make a Kingston Negroni. There we go, perfect. Now we'll stir it, all nice and gentle like. Pop our strainer in and strain away. And before we give that a sipsy doozy, we'll clean up a little bit. Because yeah, although it's a new house, we're still respectful in it. Now this should get an orange peel, but I don't have any oranges yet. I'm still moving in, give me a break. That's a Kingston Negroni. Hey, cheers. Oh, that's one of my favorites. So good. Whatever one may find harsh in a regular Negroni, the rum really mellows out. It's just smooth and nice in my mouth. I'm gonna drink the rest of it in this brand new apartment. I'm still gonna go over there. Good evening. Wow, we. Glasses on. I'm gonna make a drink. I invented this one and it's called the Paloma Rider because of Winona Rider. This drink bears similarities to some cocktails, but also doesn't bear any similarities to any other cocktail. So it's unique. Not only does it use an egg white, it also uses two perhaps unusual cocktail ingredients in the form of vanilla extract and a pinch of salt. I would ask you to trust me, but uh, you have no choice. We'll dry shake this first. Dry shake means no ice. Emulsifies the egg white, makes it all frothy. And now we'll add some ice from a bag. Liquid into ice, bit of a slam. Start slow, build the pressure, suction itself together, and then we really just go for it. Break that seal. And I know what you're thinking, Nick, that looks like a gorgeous egg white sour cocktail and oh, you're a handsome genius and you're right, you're right. But we're not done. Now we add some soda water to top it off. Whoa! And because there's a cheeky little egg white in there, it froths up like crazy. And before we give the frothy boy a sipsy doozy, we'll clean up a little bit because we're respectful in this house. Give it some lashings of cocoa bitters. And hey, that's just a mad creation called the Paloma Rider. Hey, cheers. Everyone needs to have that in their mouth this second. Mm. It just doesn't taste like anything I've ever had before in the best way possible. I'm gonna go over there. Good evening. I've got glasses on. Gonna make a drink. A few weeks ago, I moved into this brand new apartment, which meant that I had to give up a dear friend of mine, my lamp, Philip. In doing so, I made thousands of people very angry and upset at me. So I figured we'd put an end to this. The only way I know how. We'll memorialize the guy in a cocktail. You may or may not have seen this Empress Gin before. Right now it's a gorgeous bluish purple color, but let's see what happens when we add acid to it in the form of plum liqueur. It changes colour before your very eyes. Just like Philip. So, we'll finish this off with a few dashes of peach bitters. Fill it up with ice from a bag. Give it a stir with a long spoon. Pop your strainer in and strain it into a nice little chilled coop. And before we give that a sipsy doozy, we'll clean up a little bit. Because we're respectful in Philip's memory. Here's a lemon. I've gotten it from the sky. We'll garnish him up, all pretty like. You know, it's funny, because a lot of people asked me to make a Philip cocktail, even while he was still around, and I never got to it. 
No time like the present. That's the Philip. Hey, cheers. Oh, he's delicious. It's essentially just a martini rib, but it's nice. It's simple and fruity, just like Philip himself. Rest in peace, old friend. Good evening. Philip? I've got glasses on. I'm gonna make a drink. I want something passion fruity. Oh good, we have this passion fruit liqueur. Chinola, it's good stuff. Let me just make sure it's good. Yes, no, it is good. It's very tart and passion fruity. Let's make a passion fruit whiskey sour, which no doubt starts with some whiskey. This is rye whiskey. It's gonna hold up against the sweetness and tartness of this passion fruit liqueur. Speaking of which, now we'll put some of this passion fruit liqueur into that shaker right there. Now we need some juice from a lemon. So I'll take this one from the sky and juice it into that shaker right there. And now last but not least, some simple syrup, just a wee bit. And that's it, now we need some ice. As always, one scoop of regular ice, one big boy. Liquid into ice, bit of a slam. Start slow. Build the pressure, touch it yourself together. And then we really just go for it. Break that seal. Pop your strainer in and strain away. We'll garnish it with a cheeky little lime zest, because why not? It's my house, I make the rules. And hey, that's a Chinola passion fruit whiskey sour. Hey, cheers now. Oh, that's delightful. You know, people say that you shouldn't have light, bright drinks during the fall and winter times, but I disagree. We all need to be refreshed every now and again. And that's refreshing. That is gosh darn banging, and it wouldn't be gosh darn banging without this gosh darn Chinola passion fruit liqueur. Thank you, Chinola passion fruit liqueur. I've been Nicholas Hamilton. I'm going to go over there. Good evening. The Chinola's got glasses on. Silly Chinola. I'm gonna make a drink. It's almost Thanksgiving, so it's time for me to show you a cocktail that you can make for Thanksgiving. Let's make a Thanksgiving punch with gin. A thanks ginning, a thanks ginning punch. Now I'm only making one serving here, but you can scale it up, it's a punch, uh, and you can serve it to all of the family and friends that you're pretending to like for the evening. This is Bar Hill Gin, it's delicious gin, it's finished off with honey. It's perfect for this Thanksgiving gin punch, and oh, just about any other gin cocktail you could ever imagine, it's banging. Then we'll add some of this cranberry jelly that I've loosened with a little bit of water. Then we'll juice this lemon from the sky to get some lemon juice. Then we'll sweeten it just a little bit further with some of Bar Hill's honey syrup. Then we'll add some ice and give it a stir. Yeah, you would usually shake things with lemon in it, but this is a punch. You don't shake a punch. You wouldn't shake a punch. Pop your strainer in and strain away. Now I'm gonna finish mine off with this pumpkin cider, but you can use any cider you like. I'm not your dad. We'll pop a cheeky straw in, and before we take a sipsy doozy, we'll clean up a little bit. Because everyone's coming over at four, Aunt Marsha's gonna see your dirty room. Go clean it, we're respectful in this house. And hey, that's a Thanksgiving gin punch. Hey, cheers. Ugh, so refreshing and so good. That's good enough to make you forget that you didn't even celebrate Thanksgiving for the majority of your life, and you only celebrate it now because it's nice to be involved in stuff. Good evening. Gin's got glasses on, silly gin, you're drunk. I'm gonna make a drink. Merry Christmas. No need to look at the date. It's Christmas time. You've been asleep for a month. Let's make a drink. Look, how, look I've attempted to make ice, uh, Christmas ice, out of cranberry juice and a green juice. Hasn't really worked, but we continue on. Let's drown our ice cubes and our sorrows in this Fino Sherry. Make sure you spill it everywhere. Cheeky vodka. Spill that everywhere too. We're doing great. Now we just need a tiny, tiny bit of lemon juice. That's much. And the same tiny amount of simple syrup. And just top it off. We'll garnish that swamp water with a lemon wheel. We'll clean up a little bit because even though we've made a bad looking drink, it's still Christmas. We're respectful in this house. This yet to be named creation gets a straw and we'll call that the Shrek's Christmas. Hey, cheers. That might look shit, but it tastes nice. It's nice and refreshing. Sherry makes it nice and funky. It's just nice and pleasant. I wouldn't recommend making it, because it looks like this. Regardless, good evening. 